What have I been up to? A lot. Absolutely a lot. No, we have not finished our house. We've been busy outside of the house. My dog is giving me some really bad stinks. He stinks real bad. We bought him this gigantic, I mean gigantic bone that he's been chewing on for two days now. And woof da, he stinks. Okay, that's that. Second thing is he really stinks. <laughs> no kidding. He just lit off a big one. It's really bad. So, just trying things out here. I've been having problems with my speaker or my microphone, and I just wanted to say hello. How are ya? It's been a long time. I know. Kiki is behind me. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's not where you can see him. Oh, there he is. Mr. Kiki. Yes. And before anybody says anything, no, it is not cruel to put him in because we have all kinds of stuff around here that he can get into and get sick from. So, don't want him to do that. Is it right? Mm, it is for us because we have paint brushes and paints and nails and screws and stuff that he likes to play with and he likes to get into things. Do we take him out of it? Absolutely we do. But, right now, my house is a shambles, y'all. I have canned goods canned goods right there that I've been doing some of them are store bought and some of them are bought off the internet but some of them I have been doing myself I have a dehydrator I had to think about it for a minute there because I've been dehydrating some fruits and stuff I just recently about a week ago you can't see it and you won't see it um, until I clean the room up. About a week ago, I just got um, my freeze dryer. And I'm going to be heading upstairs to freeze dry my eggs. Uh, let me show you real quick. Maybe... That's how much eggs I have, and then some behind that. That is how much I have. So, I have lots of eggs, plus some eggs in another bucket. We recently bought a, another refrigerator and another deep freeze. I got on the bandwagon of... We got a half of a cow in it, and I am... In the process of getting half of I'm not ordering a half a pig because there's certain pieces that I don't want and certain pigs that I do so when I go grocery shopping I buy what I necessarily want but I buy it in bulk like I'll buy um, almost a whole case of sausage or at least a half of a case of sausage and then I will buy um, like, a big, and I'm talking, honker of a roast, and I will slice it in half and do my own food saver bags and everything of pork, and because we have chickens on top, um, right now, we're not going to process any chickens, but... We are talking about processing a duck and maybe a tur- uh, We're not sure yet. More than likely, it's going to be duck for Thanksgiving instead of t turkey. We do have turkeys. We have three turkeys. They're the three that survived out of ten. We had some incidents of some of them drowning 
the day that we got them, they ended up drowning. And then on 4th of July, we had two of them that drowned. And then we had some kind of critter or something. They were knocking each other out. Put it this way. We had some turkeys that were evil and they decided to kill each other off or something. And it was down to the three. For a while there, we had four. And one of them literally picked on the, another one enough that it died. So, I can no longer do the grocery haul for you, but yesterday, woof da honey child, I spent 500 and something. I have the receipt here. Where did I put the receipt? I spent, at Sam's Club, yesterday, I spent $500 and six forty. yes, it came out to $560 for the receipt, just to let you know that I'm not lying, I'm trying to get it where it says it, right there. About five sixty five forty dollars and I only bought forty eight items. So that tells you that Sam's Club is woof da expensive and I didn't buy anything too major. Um this gal that we hired my back has gotten really, really bad and I can't walk or stand for very long periods of time 10 15 minutes I can walk I just can't uh bend inside the chicken coops to clean them and stuff and so this 17 year old gal that lives down the street from us she says I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it you know I'll come out and I'll um she's the only child that lives down the street here we do have other kids, but they're, like, real small. And our neighbors are, like, miles away from us. Not really miles, but our next neighbor is down the road some. I mean, you literally, I mean, you can walk it, but you're better off literally either getting on the four-wheeler or getting in your vehicle and going over to the house. That kind of walk. You know. You don't really want to walk it because you have to go through the woods to get to the gal that we hired. She's 17 years old. She's homeschooled and she's the only child that lives in the house. There are other siblings, but they live with their mom in Oklahoma. And she doesn't get out much. She doesn't even hardly have any friends. And if she does, they don't hang out very often so that's that we hired her she comes once a week to clean out my coops and even though our nights are cold and stuff we still get up to 13 chicken eggs and eight duck eggs and I only have three female ducks, so we don't gather them every day because the duck eggs we don't get as often. So, that's that. You know. This is yesterday's soda pop. And then we went to, oh, excuse me. We went to um, Tractor Supply and I spent a good three to four hundred dollars there. Feeding your animals is quite expensive. I usually try to get all my feed online, and sometimes, sometimes see all that you see, Kinky. His real name is Julius, but I named him Kiki. And that's his nickname, is Kiki. 
Kiki, bye kitty. Hi, Kiki. Hi, babies. Hi, the Kiki boy. Yes. And then down here is Rocco the Stinko. Yes, that is Rocco. He is my bud. Yes, he is my Rocco. So, we have, like I said, three turkeys. And roughly about 24 or so chickens. I think two roosters, perhaps. We're not sure. We finally just heard a cock a doo doo, -doo from the roosters, so. And I only hear one so far. Um, like I said, we've been doing the outside of the house before we are finishing the inside. I've been canning. I have four uh, can canning pots. I have two that go on the stove and two that are electric. The electric pressure canner. Woofda, that's expensive. For those of you who are looking to buy one, excuse me, your best bet except for do not get it from Amazon. Get it from Farm and Fleet. And there's a Farm and Fleet and it may be uh um there might be one near you, but I got mine from Farm and Fleet, and it came within about a week. It didn't take very long. It took about a week, and I like it. It took me two days to figure out how to use it, but I have a hard time with the pressure canner on my stove because we use propane here, and... It took a while for it, the gauge to move. I have one that doesn't have a gauge, and that one's difficult to do. I have an electric water bath canner that also can be used as a cooker. But I use it simply just for the canning purposes. And then I have the pressure canner, the electric pressure canner. That you can only use um, quart size jar. You can only use four quart size jars. The pint size jars, I think it's like seven or eight that you could fit in there. You cannot water bath pint or uh, quart size jars in them, but you can water bath pint size and half pint size jars in them. I have done peaches, I have done cherries. I have done uh, beef stew meat. I just have to figure out why the siphoning is happening so much. But it's still sealed. And I don't know if it's any good or what. So if you guys can tell me down in the comments below. Should I throw them away and try something different? Because my uh, pinto beans all have sy siphoning in it and my beef stew meat has siphoning in it now the cherries and the peaches do not so that worked out for me but the pinto beans and the beef stew meat they all ended up with siphoning and so did my green beans and potatoes and I no longer have the opportunity to do all that stuff. I My garden did not turn out this year. I did get a few peppers and a few tomatoes, but not very many. And I have a 12 foot... Um, is it 12 feet? Or 24 feet? I don't know. I have a huge greenhouse that takes up a lot of my backyard. And none of it really worked. I did buy, I did buy, um, some more raised beds for next season. So 
I have things all planned out in my head exactly what I have 15 raised beds in my greenhouse and I already have it all figured out I now know which end gets most of the sun in the greenhouse and which end does not like when you first walk into the door that's where most of the sun is is like in the beginning of the greenhouse when you go towards the end of the greenhouse by where the turkeys are because the turkeys are right next door to the greenhouse so you cannot get into the back door all you see is turkey 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 turkeys gobble 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 go. that's all you see and that's all you will hear is the turkeys that are in the greenhouse and that room back here is my bedroom we have the door open because we do not have heat in that room and we have to have the curtain open so I mean, what you're looking at there is my husband's mess and my canning and some of my cookbooks that are behind all of the jars so obviously i don't use that and of course you saw the cat Kinky. And the dog is lying here next to me because daddy did not take him outside. And so it is what it is. I do have some videos in mind. For those of you who has been asking, are you going to come back? Are you going to come back? Did you disappear? Did you get sick? What happened? No, I was sick for a while. I just been going on and off with these one day I'm fine and I'm ready to go and you know I want to do 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 and then the next couple of days it's like I am so bloody tired I can't even keep my eyes open I don't know what's wrong with me I don't want to go to the doctor and do all this testing and blood tests and, and all this I don't want to do that. Do I have Corona? No, I don't. That I have checked. I don't have Corona. I just been going through these days of where I just feel literally bummed and tired. And just all I want to do is sleep. Not all day. I've been trying to work at it because I know what partially my problem is. I stay up until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And then I decide to go to bed. And then I need like my 8 hour, 8, 9, 10, 11 hours of sleep. And I just can't seem to get it. So, that's partly my problem. Okay, we're going to... Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, we are back. I had to feed the cat. He wouldn't stop meowing. Daddy came in and started chopping on some pretzels. And whenever the cat sees somebody drinking or chopping on pretzels or something, my cat's a little different. He will not drink water by itself. So I have to put the water inside his food dish every day. And then he will um i don't really care <laughs> he will eat it then or drink the water but that's the only time he likes to drink water he doesn't like to drink water out of a bowl out of a cup out of whatever he won't drink it I've tried several times to put a little bowl of water in there and all he does is put his paw in it and then he licks it off of his paw. But other than that, he does not um, drink it. He will not drink water. So anyways, however, he will drink it if it has like the gravy or whatever or some flavoring to the water so maybe I might have to try to do that once in a while I don't know the vet just said to start just just continue putting it inside of his um, food like I have been at least he's getting his water that way because let me tell you he urinates an awful lot 
for a cat who doesn't drink water on an on a all day basis. I don't know why he just doesn't, you know. And the vet said that it's not unusual. Some cats don't drink water. Some cats prefer to just not have it because he was an outside cat. So I don't know. I really don't know. But anyhow, um, I have been doing a lot of shopping. I will buy things. I have been looking into buying pallets. We have enough property here that I can go out and I can buy a shed to put some stuff into. And I've been thinking about doing some selling of some stuff online. So I've been um, looking at auctions and I've been looking at certain things just to make a little extra income into the house. But I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I have bought some things um, from other auctions or won some things from auctions. Hold on. Okay. I am back. I had to use the little girl's room and like I said, feed the cat and whew, do a couple of things in between. So I had to get myself something else to drink and I was talking about auctions, I know, I remember. But I wanted to show you, those of you who have Sam's Club and you haven't been in Sam's Club in a while, Go get your Canada Dry Holiday Edition. This is the Blackberry Ginger Ale. They have the regular ginger ale in it. Raspberry, I think. And then the Blackberry. I'm drinking the Blackberry. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Some of the things that I got off of the couple of auctions, I do this one in particular, GCM, I think it's called, don't quote me on it, I'm not positive, um, you can buy the palette or you can buy individual things. And, however, you have to do the auction if you do it. And it usually runs, most of them are like two, three days long. So, you put your bid in and you wait. And they will email you and let you know that, hey, somebody else is bidding against you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I also have done DealDash.com. And I won this 8.5 uh, enamel iron, cast iron casserole pot. And at retail price is $280. But I did not pay $288 or $80. I looked it up and the retail price for it is $280. And I paid $1.77. For this cast iron pot, I will take it out of the box and show you. It's a small little beautiful pot. Here's the pot. It's a beautiful two-tone green with the two-tone green lid. It says it's a 8.5. Now, Sam's Club has the same pot, a six-quart one. Now, I wanted another pot, but on a different auction. This, I cannot pronounce the name that it is from. 
Right now I don't have the cupboard space for it, so it has to stay in the box. And that is Mir and Ella. Mir Ella. Okay, here is the name. Here's the retail price. $280 is what it costs originally if you don't um, do the auction that was one thing this I got off of a different auction and I paid well there's not a picture of it but I paid and it does work the box is just a little I paid um, five dollars for a two slice extra wide sharp door char door char door um, toaster I did use it once and then I put it back in the box for different keeping this right here lights up and around the no not around the knob just this lights up just a regular two I've used it actually more than once I used it twice I didn't have any bread at the time so I had to use hot dog bun or hamburger bun but it worked just the same I now have bread at the time that I received it, I didn't have any. And I keep it because right now I don't have the storage space for it. So I keep it in the box. Because my countertop, I'm trying not to clutter my countertop. And I don't have cupboards right now. So everything gets stuff off in a corner and then yesterday I think I ended up paying full price but I was willing to go the extra mile to get a heated let's see Ooh, that was a good flip it's a heated neck massager that you can use on your back it's a nice little ditty. My husband and I used it. My lower back has been terribly, terribly bad. And I wanted to find... It comes with two power cords. One that you can take in your vehicle. It's a bit of rock. One that you can take in your vehicle. And then one that you plug into your wall. And then... I paid $40 for this one, so I probably paid the retail price for it. I did not look up the retail price for this one, but it's a nice little, it's called the Deep Tissue Massager, and it does heat up. Here's the power cord to it. The on and off, you have the power button. You could reverse it, um, the speed, and then the heat button, and it does work. And I did win it against another person. He or she kept on uh, outbidding me, trying to outbid, and then finally I got in in the very last bid, which, well, with the tax and everything, the tax is like $10.00. So, with tax and everything, it came up to $40. It was a $30 bid, and the tax came out to uh, $40. You have a Velcro strip here to put it, you know, around your seat or your headrest so you could do your shoulders or whatnot. My husband said that he didn't like it very much. And I tried it on my lower back, and that's not a good spot for me, but I'm going to try it 
on my shoulders and stuff and on the back of my neck because I have been waking up with sore neck so those are the three well I won five things but the other one is on my counter well no wait one two three four five six things so far I won and I can get one of the sets to show you it is one of my favorite things I am no longer going to try to use, I want to use wooden utensils to cook with, and I won two wooden utensil sets. One was $4, and the other one was $5, and let me get that, and I'll show you that. Here is the wooden utensils, and yes, they are a little dusty because everything in my kitchen is dusty because of my ceiling. My ceiling is not painted. That is cigarette, not from mine. The previous owner, you go and you touch it, you do anything, all this dust comes down. So, until we uh, do things with it. I have to deal with dusting everything in this house. So, the set that came with it, minus this, this came into another set. These are excellent to have. If I had kids, oh, no, I'm just kidding. I would not do that. I'm not like that. But this was a whole set. It came with this holder and I love it like I said I'm trying to get away from plastic I do have a couple plastic utensils that I do use like my super ladle and some of my favorite spoons but most of them I did get rid of them because I wanted all wooden utensils my mom got me started on that because she when she passed, I took all of her wooden utensils, so that was that. Okay, I'm back once again. Whew, what do I have on my shirt? I don't know, I dropped things on my shirt. So, that's one thing that I've been doing is I've been getting into these auctions and trying to win these auctions, and so far. I've been successful with some of them. I have another cast iron pot that is sitting on my stove. Um, I have that. And I've been trying new recipes. So hopefully I can get back into swings. Swings. Back into swing of things. And do some videos with you all. I just thought I would pop in here. Say hello. Let you know that I'm still alive and I'm still kicking. Whatever you want to say. I'm just running out of space to put things. And so I have a bit of a clutter going on. Until I get uh, my storage room cleaned out. I can't really get any more stuff. I have a whole corner here of canning stuff. Canning supplies. The vinegars, bunch of jars, bunch of canning things, food saving things, you name it. I think my dog's tummy is really upset from that bone and so we're not, I think we decided not to give my dog that bone anymore because woof to honey child. He is stinking my eyeballs out. I'm telling you, my nose hairs are curling because he smells like a sewer right now. I know, I know. Don't complain, you know, whatever. I'm not really complaining, I'm just saying, you know. But, um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of online shopping. Um, I bought these cute little Christmas tree bells. Online, I don't remember how much they were. Yes, I bought a pair of sheets 
from a place called Ollie's. This one is my favorite. It's a cute little Christmas tree bow. Cute little thing. I like it. It is going to go on my back porch, but I haven't gone there with it yet. I bought a small little set of them. This one broke. So I have to fix it. The chain broke off of it. Not this one, but the chain that hangs on there. Nice little gold little thing. Here's the chain. It broke the day I got it. So I will fix the chain on there. And then last but not least, I bought this, oh no, there's one more thing. I bought this, I like wind chimes and I like things that make noise. So, nice little red one. My favorite one is the green one. So I might get a couple more green ones. Can't get the chain, there we go. So that was what I got. I think it was $2, $3 a piece. No, they were $7 a piece, I think. I don't remember. And then I am a sticker collector and I bought these Idly stickers. Uh... I don't know. I think they're Idly. I love um, stickers and I do like these fancy puffy stickers. So I'm not certain, but that's where I, I, um, I like them. So that's going to go in my sticker collection when I get around to it. Those are just a couple of things that I bought. These Christmas tree things are going to go out on the back porch all year round, but I just haven't gone there yet. I'm thinking on the back porch anyways. I'm not positive. Because like I said, we... Rizzo, we just turned into hillbillies for sure, and we got our refrigerator and our deep freeze out on the back porch. It's covered. It's surrounded by walls. So, I've been just so thirsty. Plus, I like the taste of ginger ale, so... Um, what else? I have, oh, I, when I went to Tractor Supply, Impulse Buy, my favorite, Australia Licorice, these, the mixed ones, are my favorite, absolute favorite. They had a sale, two for five dollars, so I bought these. And the flavors aren't bad. The apple and I think orange and cherry. I don't know. Made in Australia, it says. Okay, strawberry, apple, and mango. I knew I, excuse me, I knew I can taste the apple, but I couldn't taste the mango. But that's what it is. Strawberry, green apple, and mango. And then these are just assorted licorice flavors. But they were two for five dollars. So, 
one of my favorites. And did you know that Crayola also makes gummies? Crayola makes gummies. Did you know that? I had no idea. These are horrible, by the way. I tried to... Um, I The bag is half gone because I put them in my freeze dryer. They turned into rock solid, hard, hard, hard rock solid candy where I couldn't even chew it. I couldn't do anything with it. It was just, okay, stuck to the bottom of my teeth. It was horrible. I filled up all four trays. This candy, which needs to go, is sticky, 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 sticky. And it probably was better when it was fresh. I don't think it's fresh. I got it from a place called Ollie's. And Ollie's is a store that will buy um, things from grocery stores, from places like Walmart, and um, if you still have a Kmart, or some department store like that, they will buy, buy out, you know, poles and whatnot, and they will sell them at a different price because it says this originally was five dollars and ninety nine cents and I got it for three dollars and ninety nine cents. It sounded good, but they literally smell like nasty currants. I had two or three without putting it in the freeze dryer. And they're so sticky, I can't even get my hand in there because the whole bag is stuck. It's two pounds of fun, it says. I wanted to see what it was going to be like in the freeze dryer. I found out the hard way. It turned to hard like a rock. Hard. That was not a good thing. Then, I took apart four jars of my peaches. And they're actually really good. Four jars of my peaches. I gave one to my dog the other day. He loved it. Absolutely loved it. I do have, if I can find it somewhere, I do have a giveaway. But I have to find it first. So, but anywho, I've been buying clothes through... Women Within. Those of you who are wondering where it came from. Um, my husband's still floating around here. There he goes. Hiding off into the bedroom. But he's still out and about and doing his thing. He's been helping out the neighbors and whatnot. So that's what we've been doing. Taking care of our animals. Taking care of... Like I said, I think we roughly have about, oh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Yes, I was right. 24 chickens. Well, minus two of them may be roosters. But, see, there he is. There's the hubster. Saying hello without saying a word. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Jeff or Brian. Who? <laughs> but, anywho. Um, taking care of our chickens, our ducks, and our turkeys. We lost a, a duck about a month ago, month and a half ago, sometime around there. We don't know exactly what got him sick, but he ended up passing in his sleep, which is always a good way to 
go, I guess, for some people or animals, you know, I guess, yeah, if you think about it. Um, he had what was called bumble foot, and that is where he developed the sores on the bottom of his feet that look like big, huge blisters. And we took him to the vet, and the vet said, um, soak his feet in nice warm water with some Epsom salts and this special con um, solution that the vet gave us. And we were doing that, and it, he seemed like he was getting better on his feet. But apparently the infection got a little too much and he ended up passing in his sleep within three days after seeing the vet. So, unfortunately it happens. And that was Rufus. My husband named him Rufus. So, and it was a, a, a boy dog. But... Um, I have three female ducks and all the rest are boys. Two female ducks. Oh, I thought I had three. Oh, okay, well, my bad. I've been standing corrected. Two female ducks. I thought I had three. But, okay. But, um, like I said, that's basically it. I've been having this horrible run of can't seem to stay awake during the day and at this time of the night, I'm wide awake. My body says, it's time to party! Yay! Oh, my husband says no. But, anywho, that is it for y'all. I hope you guys have a good rest of the evening, even though it is 1130 in the p.m. here. But have a good rest of the day and have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. So I have a birthday dinner to make. My ex-roommate wants to come over and have some egg rolls. So, oh. <gasps> I cheated. I can make egg rolls. I do make egg rolls, but it takes a long time to do it. You have to get the, you know, ingredients together, roll them, fry them, whatever. Even though I would probably put them in the oven in the air fryer because I do my oven is also an air fryer. I would probably put them in the air fryer and do it that way, which I am. I'm going to put them in the air fryer, but I bought two boxes of egg rolls from Sam's Club yesterday. And we, one of my ex-roommate's favorite um, desserts is cheesecake, which is also mine. So, I think he's turning 55. Well, I think he already just turned, because I think his birthday was the 19th, but we're celebrating it tomorrow. So, happy birthday to JC is his name. Which, yeah, that's our um, ex-roommate's name is JC. So, anywho... Just wanted to say hello, how are you, and good night.